Welcome to the future. This is Ina Braxton from the Digital Future Lab, and you're listening to our weekly DFL podcast, where we cover the state of the gaming industry, technology, and diversity. Here are your hosts, Samantha Riley and Jesus Govella. Welcome to the DFL podcast. I'm Jesus. And I'm Samantha. And today we'll be talking about uh, a bit about ourselves. We'll be talking about our college experience and our hobbies inside the DFL and also outside the DFL. So starting off, we'll just introduce our college background. So I am a junior right now. I'm in my major, which is business marketing, and then I'm minoring in visual and media arts. And I am currently a senior. Next quarter will be my last one. My major is in applied computing with a minor in business. And yeah, that's been uh, fun so far. Um, I used to be CSSE, but then um, I switched. I took a more of a liking to the business side of the what's going on in CSS, so like project management and all that. So that's why I switched. And we can talk a little bit about just like specific classes that we're currently in that we enjoy or just relevant courses. Um, Right now I'm taking marketing management, which is probably my most interesting class. It correlates directly with my major. So we're basically doing projects with um, companies, a lot of startup companies in this area. And we just analyze like their whole structure, their marketing analysis. And so that's a big part of my academic part of school. Right. I am also taking marketing management this quarter. And that's also been pretty um, interesting just learning about how companies market just towards consumers and uh, other businesses as well and yeah Uh, I'm also taking my capstone this quarter so that's been an experience Um, I'm in a group with two other people and it's been going pretty good it's a little it's a bit stressful but We'll pull through, I think. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of different challenges you have to overcome, especially, um, I'm sure most colleges are like this, but um, our school really encourages group projects. And basically every class you have to work with some sort of group. So there's been, like, I can't even count like 15 groups I've been in. So it's definitely interesting trying to build that dynamic with every, every new group we're in. Um, but I want to get on to the next question. Um, like, why UW Bothell? Like, why did we choose this school versus, like, maybe a community college or a bigger, like, like UW Seattle, for example, where it's more of like, um, more of like the college experience, whereas UW is more like a commuter school. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it seems like um, the Seattle campus is more of the traditional, you know, college experience. You go there, live in the dorm. It's pretty big. Uh, lots of people, big classes. Um, but here it's, it's uh, smaller, way smaller. A lot of people, most people commute here. And it's a lot more chill, I'd say. Mm. Yeah, I, I really like it. I feel like it's a lot easier to get to know people. It's almost like not in like high school in a sense but in the sense where you walk down like the hallways and you see familiar faces where i feel like if you went to seattle that wouldn't be as common and i feel like it's easier to find your niche in like a smaller community and i like that it's a commuter school because then you know like monday through friday or whatever your schedule is when you come here you're it's all about school but then on the weekends you kind of still have that balance between college and then like your own life and maybe have a job like it's it's a lot easier to find balance in your life whereas I feel like in Seattle it's kind of all about college all the time not that that's a bad thing but for my preference I enjoy that balance Mm -hmm. yeah me too I really like having more personal interactions with the people I meet here and I think if like what Samantha was saying if I went to Seattle I don't think I get that many like we, there'd be a lot more times where people from classes you'd never see again. They just get lost in the mix. <clears throat> um, and now we can uh, move on to uh, talking about 
where else we have attended, if any. So I've had um, all my college experience here. I've done all four years here. So I I know this place pretty well. I also have, I'm a junior, so I've been here three years, but I considered doing community college my first two years and then transferring here. But I'm honestly glad that I came here right away because I feel like just like Jesus said, like I know the campus. I feel like I was able to grow in a way, just like certain uh, things I do like outside of my major, um, like being super involved with um, yoga and just some other things I do on the side. Like I've been able to slowly develop that. And I think if I came in as a junior, which this would be my first year, I wouldn't be able to do all these things. I wouldn't have as many opportunities and maybe I wouldn't have made as many connections and networking with the right people. So I'm definitely glad that I had this three out of four years experience so far. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And definitely in this last year for me, at least I've made a lot more connections and networking and all that just cause I'll be, after I'm done, I'm going to be looking for a job and then all those connections can help me get into uh, what I want to do, which is, which right now would be like a project manager or something, some sort of uh, management position. I think that'd be very well. Uh, that suit me very well. Um, I think we should get into our last question as we start to wrap this up. Just talking yeah. about like what we hope to get out of this podcast and just maybe what we see in the future. I think for for me, I just I think it's a good outlet to be able to share, even though we may not be experts in everything. Like everyone is an expert in something, and we can just share our knowledge and our experience, and hope that. Anyone who's listening can find value from that and just have this be like kind of an open discussion where it's just two people having a conversation about interesting topics. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And going into that, I guess we can go into our hobbies. Um, so I like to play video games quite a lot. I played since, uh, since I was a kid. Um, first system ever was a Game Boy Advance. And ever since then, I've been hooked. Uh, yeah, I in my free time, I always look for a game to play or am playing a game. There's always something on the list to play. So I'm pretty well-versed in the gaming world, I guess you could say. And for me, I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a gamer. I don't really play games regularly, but I think that is kind of all part of this challenge. Like, being in this position at the digital future lab allows me it gives like i would have no other reason to research about games and learn about it if i wasn't in this position so i think being here it's it's providing me an opportunity to learn about something that maybe i'm not super familiar with so i've been researching i've been looking on twitch and stuff um but in my free time typically i i just i like to spend time with people that i love and i like to I just like to have fun experiences like I love going to new places, trying out like new food restaurants. I love to travel, even if that means I'm going, you know, like a couple hours away on like a road trip or just seeing new places. I don't know. Um, and I'm also really into yoga. I'm a yoga teacher on the side. So that is kind of what I do on the weekends when I'm not at the lab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have a pretty good uh, dynamic here where I can talk more about games and uh, Samantha can talk about more about um, other activities in general. Uh, I'm trying to, I don't do too many activities outside of the, um, playing games, you know, just with my friends and stuff like that, but I'm looking to do more of that. So that'll be, that'll be a good experience. Yeah, and I'm mm -hmm. just, I think we, there is a pretty good balance here, but um, I'm just trying to provide like almost like an outsider perspective looking in. Like, I feel like I understand a lot of marketing, marketing concepts from like an entrepreneurial standpoint um, that isn't related to gaming, but a lot of those same concepts I can apply to gaming. So in that way, I feel like I'm learning, like the, the knowledge that I'm learning, I can share on this podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always nice to have an outsider perspective. Yeah, and that's that's all about all we have to say for this uh, episode. 
so hopefully you guys got to know us a little bit better and i'm sure throughout these next episodes you'll be able to catch bits of our personalities and things we like to do um but stay tuned for our future (laughs) episodes yeah more to come on games technology uh, just whatever we feel like talking about Mm mm-hmm Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Digital Future Lab and on Twitter at DFL underscore studios. Tune in next time for more on games, technology, and diversity.